Okay, these are all kinetics questions. They're multiple choice past paper from previous AQA, A-level chemistry papers. As always, I'm going to recommend that you pause on each question, try to answer it, and then review to see how you've done, and carry on working through the video until you've then tried them all. So we'll start off with the first question. And Maxwell Boltzmann will play a big part of the multi-choice component of this particular topic. In this case, we want to know which letter represents the mean energy of the molecules. Well, first of all, we've got to remember that the energy axis is the x-axis. So the answer has to come from there. It's going to be C or it's going to be D. From there, once we've got down to 50-50, we've then got to remember what we mean by the mean energy. And there are two, C and D are both labels that we would need to be able to identify. But in this case, D is the mean energy. C would be the most probable energy. Now, the reason that the mean energy is set slightly to the right is that there are, as you see, um, a small number of particles with very high energies and that skews the average to the right it skews the mean so d is what we're looking for on there next question and on this one we have got two maxwell boltzmann curves we've got the same reaction taking place at different temperatures and we want to know here the most probable energy at the higher temperature. Now, once again, we remember that energy is the x-axis, so our answer has to be C or D. We're down to 50-50. But to deal with the rest of it, we've got to know which of these two peaks represents the higher temperature. And it's the peak that's identified here. Now, when you raise the temperature, you are giving the particles more energy. So it makes sense that the most probable energy, the mean energy, will shift to the right. And it also means there will be, in more general terms, more particles with more energy, so you would expect it to be higher on the right-hand side, as we can see. So the correct answer is therefore D. Next question. And we've got some good old fashioned rates of reaction here. So these graphs you'll be familiar with potentially also from GCSE. <clears throat> if we look at the volume that's being produced in the first example, it's going to stop, it's going to slow down and then stop reacting when we run out of the sulfuric acid because the magnesium is in excess. So if we were to halve the concentration of sulfuric acid, there are actually two things that we need to consider. So we're halving it, and that means we're going to halve the volume. It means we're not going to make as much as we previously did. So V, sorry, V on B and C, looking at the height that you go to, it is around the same. Whereas you can see on A and D, the final V volume is much lower. And if you were to measure it, it is at half the height. So we know it's going to be A or D. But we also know that if we reduce the concentration, we're going to reduce the initial rate of reaction. And that's why where we have this shallower increase to begin with, um, that's why the answer is therefore A. Next question. And this is a combination of the first two questions, really. So hopefully you've identified some of the key ideas that are needed. Um, <clears throat> Recognising that the higher temperature is the one on the right. Now that means we can dismiss P and Q. Our answer is going to be R or S. And we want the mean energy. So again, it's about remembering that in this case, R, the highest point of the peak, is the most probable energy. 
whereas S, the mean energy, is shifted slightly to the right. And remember, that's because it's skewed by the small number of particles with much, much higher energies. So the correct answer is D.